Hi guys, welcome to part 7 of my 2024 Christmas Village full tutorial series. This first unfinished timid section has raised controversy, controversy and doubts. Is this a Christmas village? Yes. Is this a Victorian era Christmas village? Yes. Is this also a Uchrony, Uchronia, something out of time, something connected to what if, something connected to and if it was really different in the timeline? and especially those two giant speakers that you are seeing still there, stage speakers. Uh, why those modern stage speakers, if this is a Victorian era Christmas village? Simply because it is a Gucronia. But as this was plan B, because I thought sincerely that my plan A was completely out of the curse of events, uh, totally more crazy than always, I went with this plan B. But you will see what was my plan A. And I don't know what it will raise my plan A. So I will try to finish this first timid section, then some more landscaping towards the left side because uh, I had uh, another vision, this, yes, I'm the man of the visions. <laughs> and uh, I will try to do a little more strange things on the left side, uh, plus maybe some two or three surprises. Then what else? Then I don't know right now, but let me work on these mad first timid section. All right, guys, here I have the first two levels of Rebecca's house. And guess what? It is still not painted. Why? Each time I model something, I 3D model something, and then I 3D print it, especially buildings, sooner or later I will face the fact that I will need to provide some way of getting light inside. This was designed and modeled and sketched and everything in just some hours. So uh, I completely uh, lack the time to think about a way of putting light inside. But there is no problem because <laughs> during the off season I've provided lights for <laughs> two dozens of new buildings. But let's imagine Lemax 2020 up to now, Lemax's lighting system. You got a, a LED light bulb like this one with an on off switch like this one on off. And then you have a female and a male plug that you may have an AC adapter to plug into it and then get the building lighted. Good, good for Lemax. I will surely not have the space for putting such a giant bulb there or here or there. I will completely ruin the house. So during the off season, while I was modeling and 3D printing, I thought, isn't there a way to simulate this without having a four centimeters uh, hole to do in the house, four centimeters diameter hole? And I think I found a solution. <laughs> no, I think I found a solution because I already use this method for the rest of the houses. You may recognize a 90 degrees plug. It is equal to the Lemax. The only problem is that 
it is very difficult to find on the market white wires, white cables as this one. But I don't care. Uh, black will suit anyway. So this is uh, the uh, cable, the wire that will be connected to the AC adapters, as I always do. 3 volts because I will use a 3 volt LED. But here is the male plug and the female plug. I've tried many things during the years, you know, but finally I found those little things here, guys. Those little things are connectors uh, that are used in electronics to um, provide a um, power source to some panels, etc. But this is the female version, the female version of a standard Lenox plug. Look, plug, voila. So instead of having to drill a four centimeter hole into the buildings, I will simply need to provide one centimeter hole in the buildings and it is more easy to find a one centimeter uh, spot to place this uh, female uh, plug there. Uh, Obviously, I will not have the switch, but I don't care because I don't use the switch during the older season with my Christmas village. I simply switch off the main power source when I want to get everything in the dark. Uh, here I have one level, two levels, and then obviously I will have the roof, okay? And the and this level here, the level with the mini tower, will get the light from this level here. So I think I will need to provide one LED there, two LEDs here, and then a third, maybe four LEDs uh, for the. Uh, for the roof, maybe at a higher level here, I think, in order to have everything lighted correctly. First problem, I need to take the first level here and find a spot to get this plug inside. From the side, I have a spot here and another spot there that will suit one here, one there. The problem is that this spot here is just under the main tower. The front, I don't have spots at all to place this plug. The other side, I can place them at this level, it at this level. But then it is too close to the ground and I will not have the space for the 90 degrees plug that I will need to use like this or like this or like this. Mm -mm. And the sides are always good looking. I modeled the back with just two windows here. Two windows but a support three windows and the support for the next level. Here I have the support that are a little uh, tinier, but here in the middle I will have, and the house will be placed I think like this or like this, with the tower, with the rounded tower in plain view. So this spot here will be hided. So I think I will go like that and have the plug inserted there. Uh, feasible, yes. Uh, let me 
mark this at a standard height in plain middle. So I will take my drill and then starting from the smallest tip.
Good. Nice. So one, two, and the third one will be the roof that will bring light all over the third level. Now I'm uh, detaching everything simply because I will need to prime everything and each level need to be done separately by itself okay and if you are wondering why I have protected the LED simply because I will paint the inside and the outside and I don't want the paint to uh, cover the LED so guys this is how I provide light for my buildings now guys uh, it during part six, during last part, you have seen me working for the first time on the left side of the layout. I did some landscaping, then I also did a pure styrofoam stairs that I will use, obviously. But I want another stair to have uh, something different. And, uh, or a new staircase. Imagine that this is a wall, 12 centimeters tall, like this, and I want a stairs, or I wanted because now I have, that could go at nine degrees, at 90 degrees, sorry, towards the wall, starting a climbing a little and arriving at middle height of the wall. Then, going uh, along the wall up until it reaches some sort of uh, um, balcony stairs, some sort of that, that will be helpful for the left section, for the starting of the left section. So I did a little work there and I used my 3D printer because it is impossible to do something um, correctly something um, good looking with simply styrofoam. Here I have the starting point that will start like that and that will go at middle, almost mid-level from the 12 centimeters I wanted to climb and then it will turn this side. And this uh, this is uh, uh, a simple stair I modeled in Rhino 3D and uh, steps, 3 millimeters uh, uh, tall uh, steps and then the rest will go there. But it, is, it was impossible, almost impossible to build such a thing using uh, one piece so I divided it in multiple pieces. Let's start with this, then I also have those two other pieces there that will help me getting everything at the correct height like this, okay? So I will need to uh, glue it where it needs to be. Jump into it, we can line it up. We can stay slow with you. 
The process uh, related to Rebecca's house is far from being finished. One of the focus, obviously, is the house, still need to be finished. Rebecca's, still to be finished, the figurine of Rebecca. And then uh, a tree, still to be finished. Uh, and then some f fences around the house, around Rebecca's house. When I presented uh, two options, this was judged the best suited. Okay, this is the result. Maybe I will go with the black. That is better view. Okay, guys. This is the result of the design I posted online. Okay. Uh, still need to be cleaner that just came out today from the 3d printer from the filament 3d printer but obviously this is just some part of the fences an iron fences a wrought iron fancy uh, is a complex system the fence itself it can't stand like that it will fall down so I made the corner, I don't know if you can see, L-shaped like that here. The two corners are L-shaped. Oops, sorry for the camera. Why? Because uh, they will need some post to to exist like those ones let me choose like those ones okay one from the right and one from the left and with the post like this i simply need to go with the post and insert the post inside okay i need to clean them otherwise they will not fit inside still need to clean and look at the post there. It has two vertical lines, uh, T-shaped, in order to fit uh, on the fences. And I also made some terminal that you can see as one and only groove. Then I made some 90 degrees also. I just needed to find the 90 degrees. Hope to have printed a sample of a 90 degrees. Yes, this is a 90 degrees. You can see that this one is 90 degrees. It is an L shaped. So uh, let's take this one and let's go inside. Hoping that it will fit inside. I measured it correctly, if I remember, yes, one like that, then I will use another one, like this one, need to be cleaned, like this, uh, then then I can go with another one. All they need to be cleaned like this. Then they are still very flexible. Then I can go with 90 degrees and a turn. If I don't clean them, they will not fit. Like this. 
Then I told myself, why not? I don't know if uh, the length uh, will be enough uh, to suit all the dimensions. So I also made the shortest one, like this one. This is 11 post. This is 5 post. And this one can go Oops. And there is still the piece inside like this. I also have, why not having a gate, guys? So a gate need a hinge, and I have a right and a left hinge. Like that. Then I have a gate, uh, let's say, a gate like that. And the gate will open and close and I have a single one if you want you can use a single one or then you can use a double one like this and it can open and close like this uh, so this is the system I will be using for as gate for uh, Rebecca's house now guys empty there is nothing but in some seconds I will introduce you the first new building I made for the left section. Instead of starting revealing the buildings from the right section, I'm gonna start with the first building of the left section. And I will explain why I did that modeling, why I did that design, and everything is uh, connected with something you have already seen. And all the buildings from the left side will be similar in structure, but not identical to the one you will be see in some seconds. And you will also understand why I modeled Rebecca's house, the way I modeled it, similar but different, especially in the roof. The house is, the first house is this one, guys. Okay, I will approach the camera, the front is this one guys so every building is part bricks 
no stones yes big stones part wood and then with this roof here tile roof there that you see that is a strange color but i want a different color a strange color that is blue and i use uh, some chalk paint uh, so it doesn't reflect the light it is from La Pagliarita, even the, this chalk paint and then some gold to the top of the roof. Gold that I will not be using for Rebecca's house, but here I've used the some roof. Some strange design there, uh, some sort of ancient, that it may recall some uh, Vikings also, but it is not Viking because this is bow window there, uh, window, uh, door, entry door. Some of the windows are squared with uh, closure, other ones are rounded. Then bow windows and each bow window has uh, uh, some sort of uh, um, glass because you can see that they reflect the lights I put some glass so here some ancient way of making the uh, the windows and you understand why I use it on the left side a gothic arc because this is a gothic arc some more windows under the roof than the back and you can see in the back the um, standard for 2024 season to plug the power cord and get illuminated from this side you have seen so uh, some bow window etc the roof like that and I've tried to go crazy this season because these external lights works guys so I modeled something uh, when I had at the time this was modeled in late January, maybe first days of February 2024. And I also modeled a wiring system as minimum visible as possible. And you see there and then painted that goes even with the wire. So those two lamps will bring light to the floor this one too to the entrance and this will allow me not to use too many street lamps and have a good way amount of light and colors gray blue and yellowish as the bridge guys these remember the bridge that's why another reason why i will have similar colors even for Rebecca's house but I will not use the gold as I already told you so different uh, shades of brown this is uh, darkest brown then I used some uh, maroonish brown for the supports and then golds everywhere I have a frieze here I have modeled some um, some sort of ivy or some sort of uh, wreath or some sort of mistle if you want some leaves there and then i use it as some gold and real gold here and there and even here the stores of the windows are some uh, flowers and then i use it as some gold there another gold here on the door another time some gold so this is the first revealing of the season why I went with this design here because I wanted to show and to make understand also Limax slash Lemax that has no buildings similar to another that has all the collections from every single year with no building similar to another but in history um, villages cities were made by similitude okay 
some sort of architecture common to different houses in the village. And this will, will be the difficulties, the difficulty for this 2024 season for me, trying to integrate Lemax slash Limax buildings uh, with the new ones I've modeled and it will be difficult but no oh, by the way guys this took 19 hours and 20 minutes the base only the first to 3d print almost a week simply a week to 3d print this one uh, I have two FDM printers that's why I managed to have completed uh, between 20 to 30 buildings for this season because otherwise I would have already I would have still been printing 3d printing everything so let me show you the effect of the external lights I will plug in the three volts and guys the lights are outside and also inside like I don't know if you can see yes like in this case up there down there you have another light down there so one light one LED for each level one le second level and then three external LEDs and inside there I used the tiniest uh, LED I have, the 1.8 millimeters uh, um, LEDs and the lamps there have not been printed with the, everything else because I used some uh, transparent PETG filament, the rest is PLA filament, PLA plus the transparent one is PETG filament but this brings light even to the outside I forgot to tell you even a bench uh, even a bench uh, each house has minimum a bench to have animation to have uh, gathering people around the house and these guys is the first out I don't I haven't named the house maybe you can suggest some names for all the houses uh, I don't know maybe you don't like them it, all the houses but you haven't seen them uh, this is the first one and see you for something else guys
Look who is back, guys. The first teamed section. Uh, little difference, I've painted the stage. Uh, last time it was only uh, black washed. Now there are three different layers of brown. Each time um, a, little, a little lighter. And then I applied some, some medium uh, gloss on top of everything there is medium gloss. Okay guys, the only thing I did off camera. Uh, and the two spots are not there because I also painted the border and you will see. What is causing problems are those speakers guys. This plan B. Okay. So you ate it, not ate it, but uh, it is controversial. Okay, so for now on, let's forget about them and let me dismantle also this little thing here. Let me mark. front like that and let me start from the last thing I made I 3d model it before going uh, ahead with something strange uh, this is too close to the ground I don't like it so I made those little brick columns there. This is what uh, I 3D modeled. Those are some little bricks columns, square bricks columns. And I cannot use glue there. Yes, I can, I can use epoxy, but I will not. Instead, I will be using some double-sided tape once again. like that okay so in this case I will need then to place this like that obviously this is styrofoam so it tends to bend a little, but then with the weight, it will be established. Then I made a little stairs guy, like that, because why not letting the stage performers have a good access, other way to access the stage. I will need to clean this. Everything needs to be clean at once. It comes out from the 3D printer. And uh, I don't know if I will place it like that in this or... Yes, in the back. I will not use the back because it will be closed, but guys, I will use the in this case like this okay from the front they will access the stage from the front like that little stairs uh, very simple it is a piece of the stairs you have seen me doing for the left uh, part of the layout I simply cut it and then 
it will fit. I will not use it in plain middle. I cannot use it on the right because there are supports on the on the sides. The back will be closed, so I will be using it from the front like that. Uh, I will add the stairs uh, as last step and from now on let's say we have it. Let me take one and two and let me move this and then let me retake this one like this and then guys plan B let me take plan A. Ta-da! So guys, this is plan A. It is finished, completed. <laughs> this is better suited for a Victorian era, I think. What I did, I imagine a phonograph, a gramophone that maybe some of you, the younger ones, don't remember. I haven't used it, but I remember from movies, uh, etc. And it is... Uh, the gramophone was used with vinyl discs before they were plastics, to, like a disc player, <laughs> like a music player. And uh, But I removed completely the... Um, the space for the disc, uh, the mechanism, etc. I've made it taller and then I used a big acoustic amplifier, a big horn that were used. So instead of the ones you have seen, I have a couple of them, guys, and I will remove those two. Obviously, with the camera in that position, you will not be able to see them. But I will place them at the back. This one is oriented. This one is the right one. And this one is the left one. So in front, I add the mini speakers. What do you think? Okay, plan B, bye-bye. And this was plan A. Once again, little versions. I removed every mechanism. This is the same dimension of a real gramophone. But the horn here is not protruding because I wanted it as small as possible. And it is directly in contact with with the uh, uh, with the horn and those are little stage micro stage speakers so this is the version I have in mind now <laughs> isn't that crazy because uh, even this guys it's gramophones yes but the gramophone were not used with electrical with electricity but okay guys this is more um, Victorian okay <laughs> let me let me judge L let me be judged by by people from the 23rd century but this is my plan A was these guys let's continue now guys be advised now guys, be advised. Now guys, be advised. What will follow in the next minutes will surely be revealing of the final result that will be there. It will be advised. I will not tell you anything, but it will be revealing so I will keep my mouth shut concerning what will be 
presented on the stage, but you will understand, or maybe some of you will understand. I will remove from, for now, the speakers, because otherwise I will damage them. I want something to be in the back wall there, and I thought, why not going with some metallic, like this one, okay, this is a net, it is a piece of metal, very uh, intensively drilled, and you can see that it is transparent, and the holes are mini rounded holes that I will allow you to see through what will be back and it is industrial, it is uh, past, present, everything. But this will be the wall on the back. I have a problem here, I risk to cut myself. better like that and I will place it back there but this will be the downside be advised I will glue on top of it this little thing here in the middle Okay, let me mark this in the middle, here I have a 6 point half, okay, this is 28.5 minus 17 equals uh, 11, 5 and a half from each side. Five and a half from each side and Five and a half. Let's see. Obviously, guys, I will not glue it like that. I will glue it. Like this, guys. Isn't it revealing? I will read only 1899 word tour. Okay. I will not say anything about the letters. So I will use some epoxy. Okay, now let me see how I can fix this.
Okay, guys, now what I have here, I have a drummer set, guys. Look, pearl. Okay, guys, strange little thing there. And this is not revealing, but the next one will be. Uh, I missed the drummer, guys, but here is the drummer, guys. Now you are screaming. But this is the drummer. That will go there, and that will go like that, guys. Now, after the drummer, I need another musician, and another musician will be this one guys he plays a sax Ta -da! and these two goes I think there after a musician like that uh, I know that the brass doesn't go very often with the drums, with a drummer. The brass instruments are more classic, but this is an utopia, guys. No, sorry, this is a uchrony, guys. And then with the brass, I need a lead heavy metal guitarist guys and here she is this is my leader heavy metal electric guitarist okay and she's the leader of the group obviously Uh, then I will place them in some other ways, maybe, but don't you need a vocalist in a band, guys, so here is my vocalist, guys. This is my lead voice. He is my lead voice. And a lead voice who's been respected need a groupie. And guys, this is my groupie and I modeled them to be ta da 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 pum pum ta da 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 pum pum like this guys a groupie serving some tea on a stage at a little voice, at a lead voice, like this, guys. And the lead voice and the groupie will go, oops.
like that. I know you aren't seeing anything. But, and then obviously, little speaker like that and another one behind the sax player It doesn't need to be the leader of the group, doesn't need to be also the lead voice. For me, this is it guys and I will paint the little stair next time also the brick pillars. And the guys, this is my first vision of a new crony, a new cronia. Sorry guys, and I will not say anything up to you to, uh, to find problems or not problems but for me this is my band <laughs> final recap of part 7 of the 2024 season and I'm going to start from this point of view here guys just finished it and it is like that with Mac there waiting to get home and this is the new type of homes I'm doing guys uh, you have seen me describing it in details during this part 7 and this is the first reveal of the of the houses that will populate these uh, left side here the stairs there that is accessible walkable also that will get access to this house here micro scenes here okay so i also made this wall here because i will need to accommodate also the other lemax buildings and having walls of 12 centimeters because from here to there I have 12 centimeters will help me accommodate the buildings here from this side here not certainly from this side because I don't have the space but I needed to mix my collection first reveal of the left side with the Lemax slash Lemax collection two waves of um, climbing here to get access here then I will have something more happening there and then obviously the stairs you have seen some uh, mini hill here I will place uh, some vegetation some trees and uh, here some grass I hope if I found the correct one and the mini hill and obviously here on top another house of the 2024 season and uh, I will not reveal it uh, right now but this is the point of view here something will happen also here and double passages I will have plenty of passages this season with the gothic arc here and then through there you go to the other side and I still need to decide what to place here but I don't think this is too bad, this point of view here. It will be populated, animated like uh, an ancient square of an ancient village there. And then multiple access to different ways. And I go up, first level. Then I have four more centimeters, another level. Then I will climb up here. Each level, each level, I will climb, 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 climb. I think I will go this way, this season 
and this is the point of view of please uh, let me know if these houses sweet um, these houses uh, will fit to my layout but you, you st still don't know the final outcome so but with external lights guys never seen before <laughs> one of my buildings done like that it will change everything once I add some more landscaping vegetation grass moss etc and the house here is the first one maybe next uh, next time I will reveal another one of these and it took me so many hours of working on all the buildings from this side here of the of the layout guys but guys I have a little surprise I have Rebecca and also a tree an old tree as stated by Rebecca and let me approach a little more Rebecca to the light and maybe I will go in plain light like this I wanted her to have uh, all the color of the four elements so the air is obviously the wind that goes through her hairs then I have the water of the bluish there with some gold etc then I have the earth, the color of the hair boots, and then the fire, the ribbon around her neck, the bow tie, and also the two ribbons around uh, the shirt there. Um, maybe this is not the good color, I don't know. But someone told me that uh, she loved the purple, and this is a declination of purple, one color for the uh, down below part of the um, of the dress, then one color here, another one here, and all the colors are uh, a mix between pure color and um, uh, iridescent silver, except for the uh, for the glasses maybe i will go a little more towards the light like this okay her look she's reading the book by the way it is a magic book with the all the design on top of it and she has a gold clock some gold chains and she's looking at me but she's also reading her spell couldn't write anything on the book uh, as I modeled it because it is too little. Guys, you lose so many details when you print uh, these tiny little figures. And you have seen that when I modeled this, the details were uh, very, very clear. But now uh, she seems to have lost some of the details. It's normal when you work on such tiny things to lose some of the of the details but here she is Rebecca in front of her house obviously uh, with the iron fences with the tree uh, it still needed to be finished painted then flock it then everything else you have also seen me uh, placing some light system inside Rebecca's house and I will start painting it this, this week, I think. Now you understand that why I went with uh, stones and uh, wood. Uh, it was a must to get continuity with these houses here. So I went with this modeling here. The roof is similar but not identical. You don't have the gold on top here. You don't have, but it will uh, have some uh, similarities. Uh, the gate there, and I think I will do another gate to get access to the mini lake from this side here. 
but with this system, uh, with this modular system of the fences, all is possible. Uh, the old tree, it is very old, as you can see. Maybe these two in front of the light, it is better. In front of the main light, with all the details. It just came out of the uh, resin printer a couple uh, of hours ago. Uh, roots etc and uh, we uh, I could, uh, it's useless to go taller and taller uh, with an old tree this has uh, the weight of the years on the, on its branches etc with the foliage it will change uh, completely in the aspect and I was saying here all along this wall here I could have some standard Lamax buildings and also here another scene and some other vegetation still far to be finished but I don't think these couple these twin stairs there I don't know I, when I look at uh, that wall for some days then the then the idea why not having uh, uh, some sort of uh, balcony stairs to get access to and also maybe I will enlarge this section here, but I don't think so. Trees, uh, other things, then a passage to go to the other uh, sections, to the other uh, different section. And with the area of fences, it is taking some uh, good uh, looking aspect, I think. Now, guys, let me slide to the left. No, let me slide to the right because to the right guys you already know what you will see and this is not the final place for it let me place the camera standing a little closer but this is the first team at section I will not show you on camera anything more but of camera I will paint the um, pillar bricks and the stairs and also here the front with some brown it is clear looking at what it is written there guys what it is everything is visible from different angles 1899 word tour and this is my band i've described the components i will not reveal up to you but you the majority of you have already figured out what it is about let me switch off the lights And guys, this is the effect in plain night with all the lights dancing around even on the floor and reflecting everywhere at the minimum speed possible, blue and green. Look at the effect that I was able to manage to the speaker there. It seems that sometimes they toof, 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 toof it pulses uh, with the light also it is an effect uh, that I wanted also from the right the left side but just sometimes it get there poof poof and here it goes sometimes like now poof 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 okay guys uh, reflection and I use uh, some brass color for the two uh, speakers for the two horns there brass also there and the rest you have seen a closer look to the sax player the guitarist the lead voice the groupie and the drummer in plan dark up to you to comment this maybe you will unsubscribe right now from this channel but as I told you, already told you, this is the softest one of the 
of the team at section what if in reality it is like that yes mac they are so good but wait until you hear the success solo mac that is a real good musician but the groupie there is useless this is the final step i think for the first teamed section what if it is like that that it went even if uh, it is only something written but for me it is like that that it should be and up to you to comment what i did there and uh, what else rebecca guys finally rebecca is among us uh, it is my best way to modeling it her and to paint her with the four elements around her the tree surprise even for me the tree because i it took nine hours and 50 minutes to 3d print with the resin printer it's so 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 uh, an enormous time uh, compared to the figurines that takes between three and four hours maximum but it is a very tall tree rebecca's house sorry rebecca but i will do some work on it next time and the new the new section the new left section the house guys this is if you can comment also on the design on the of the new uh, house for the left section you haven't seen the other ones but they are similar but not identical what else guys please don't forget to subscribe comment and give big thumbs up thank you for watching thank you for bearing my awful english and see you next time for part eight but only if they allow me to do it bye guys